My name's Tamith. I've been coaching Timothy Athletic now for five years. This is my sixth year coming into it. I coach an under 15s boys team. I also coach a school football team and I've just started a ladies football team. I've got my FA level one, FA level two, my youth module one. I've also done my refereeing course and I'm about to take my uh, youth module two. Pig in the middle, okay? All you've got to do is you've got to get it to this Joe. Joe can't receive it past those white cones. He's got to get it back to you, you can't receive it. They can't, they cannot come out of this white, this red cone area, okay? The reason I decided to do my badges was uh, my son was playing for the team and their manager was leaving. So a friend of mine said, well, I'll help you out do it, but I can't do it for a long time. So I knew that I needed some sort of training because I had no idea of football whatsoever. So I went in to do my FA Level 1, which was so hard for me not having any football experience at all. But I managed to pass with the help and support of um, people from my club. And then it just went on from there that, you know, I just wanted to keep improving and keep going forward. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. You do a lot of lads for to keep the team spirit together because it's not all about football it's about learning to be there for each other and helping each other and um, cracker chow is probably one of my favorite trips we've done paintballing wasn't my favorite i was covered in bruises uh, obviously they took it upon themselves to get me back for all, all the fitness uh, drills that we'd ever done i was absolutely caked so last season i got a phone call from lee mooney from the fa to say um do you know you've been nominated for the Derbyshire FA Coach of the Year? And I was like, so touched. Out of the whole of Derbyshire, they have so many nominated, they have so many people come in and they can only pick 20 to be nominated. And to be in that top 20, it was like, I was so touched. That, that was it, I was just so happy. Anyway, about three weeks later, I get a phone call going, what are you doing now? And I'd literally just come out of work and got, I was sitting in my car. And uh, I went, oh, I'm just about to drive home. He went, well, just stay still, I've got something to tell you. So I said, oh, okay, he went, you've won, you're Derbyshire FA Coach of the Year. I was like, no, I'm not. He went, yeah, I was like, oh my, I was just like, it was just out of this world, such an amazing feeling. That The fact that the whole Derbyshire they picked me um, was really touching. And, and I think it's because of the work that I've, I've, stick, I've stuck with the same team, I've done all my coaching badges. Uh, we've worked hard together as a unit and, you know, it was lovely to win that award. When I first joined Timbers Athletic, we had about three or four teams. We've now currently got 15 or 16 teams. And it's just such a family approach. Jill, the club secretary, she is just mum to everybody. She has a personal interest in every single team. You're never left on your own. She wants to know, she's interested, she rings you. Um, she's forever pushing fundraising, which we're, we're trying to get a clubhouse built. So it is a very family orientated club, which I really like that. I do really like that. Everybody will help others out, you know, all the coaches, we're, we're all there to support each other, which is lovely. When I did the FA Cup draw and the BBC Inspire video went out, I had a few messages off girls living in my local area saying that they'd really like a girls team. We do have one girls team, but they'd like another option and would I be prepared to coach? So I said, yeah, absolutely, not a problem. I do coach a girls team at a school, which is absolutely lovely because they're only six and seven and they've gone from, well, just coming to see what it likes to really, really enjoying it now and like saying, can we do football, can we do football? Which is lovely. I'm Rachel, I've been playing for Tinsworth South Athletic Ladies, training with them for just over three months now. I used to play for Hollingworth Ladies Girls, 
but stopped playing because just got old and lost interest. Then I found out that Tammy was training a new team for girls and because our Welsh is done of the boys team and got them so far ahead. Like they were so low in the league and weren't winning any games and losing like 24 now. And now she's brought them up where they're winning the league, moving up and up, getting into cup games, travelling around to different places. I've known her since I was younger just from being a friend and working with her behind the bar where she's not really followed any interest in football. And now she's gone and took courses and she's qualified to be a referee. She's a manager of a football team. She's done absolutely fantastic with them all. She's won FA Coach of the Year. She's been on TV. I'm so proud. I hope that Tim to South Athletic Girls can be absolutely fantastic and get to the top of the league, win loads of games, have fun. And hopefully be as good as the boys are. And with Tammy. I'm Joe Brotherton. Uh, I've been playing for Tim for two years. I enjoy it, a good bunch of lads, and Tammy is a hero. So as a team we went to Holland and uh, yeah we played we played uh, we played these Colombian lads which was a laugh and I, I got the chance to use my incredible Spanish skills with three words. So me gusta colombianos, that was good. Uh, yeah, it was it was good. I've got to win the cup this season. So we're in the semi-final and yeah, I think Tammy's first trophy. Here we go. And uh, yeah, then in the future, oh, I've got to be Glossop one day, one day. They're like, they're my old team. So, that's the aim. Hi, my name is Ben, I've been playing for Tinchersville for nine years. It's good because they have great facilities and a good pitch and good managers. The coach is good because she puts 100% effort in every game. She checks to all the people, makes sure they come in turning up. And She's dedicated to what she does. I really hope Timbers Athletic uh, get right up there. I, mean, I expect my boys to do really, really well. I mean, obviously they're 15. Next year they've got exams. We'll probably flag off a little bit then. Results won't be as important because obviously exams are. But I, I really hope that we, we pursue and we keep pushing and pushing. And I would love to be in the Premier League, even if it's 15 years time. You know, I'll have all the better experience. I would love to coach a team up there, we can manage. You know, I think I can I can I can see myself looking pretty cozy at United. <laughs>